Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these new toaster grills by Lily's. This one is the grilled sausage, egg, and cheese sandwich uh, on real buttered toast for a classic homemade taste. Uh, hot and crispy from your toaster. Normally, I only do meals that you can eat either in the microwave or just straight out like a sandwich or something like that. This one, you will need a toaster, just to let you know. You might be able to do it just in the microwave, but it wouldn't have that crusty crust, uh, that crispy crust. So you probably don't want to do it just in the microwave. No, tr no prep, no mess, ready in minutes. This is 7.4 ounces or 210 grams or two sandwiches in the package. We bought it at Meyer. It was $4.49, but like I said, you get two. So what is that, $2.25 a piece? Yeah, not too awfully bad. Really tiny writing, but it's 360 calories per sandwich. And there's the other info. And there's goodness in every sandwich and everything we do. And here's the directions. So toaster directions. And like I said, it really doesn't have any other directions on here. So we're going to remove the sandwich from the plastic wrap. You do need a microwave to like thaw it. So you put it in the microwave for 40 seconds. Set the toaster for medium high setting and depending on depending on your toaster and then toast the sandwich for one cycle. So just push the thing down, let it go and um, it, it's ready. Uh, I will probably medium high for me is medium is a three. So I will probably leave it. I'll probably put it a three out of five. That's medium. Um, but I'm going to get it in the microwave for 40 seconds before I do that. And let's see, no pull tabs. You gotta, you gotta unglue the box. Okay, so they're fairly thin, and there are, there is another one in the box as well. So I'm going to open this. It probably makes some noise. Hold on. Okay, so you literally just lay this on a plate. Very, very thin, too. Um, you lay that on a plate. We're going to put it in the microwave for 40 seconds, basically to thaw it. Stick it in the toaster, let it toast, and then I'll be back. All right, so here it is out of the microwave and toaster. Um, uh, it's very crispy. Well, one side is pretty good, and then the other, ooh, there's what's inside. Um, it pulled apart. And there's what's on the other side. The other side got a little toastier on in my toaster than normal, but or than what yours might get, but it is what it is. So I'm just going to cut this in half. Um, like I said, you could very easily... Um, you could easily put this in just the microwave and, and heat it up and it would be hot. It would be very soft bread though. It'd be kind of a, not really soggy, but kind of like a really buttery bread. Um, so it'd be a little wet. It just wouldn't be this crunchy, toasty um, feel. So you could you could literally put this in the microwave and it'd be fine. So I'm gonna let this sit and cool for just a minute. I'm gonna open it up a little bit because it's uh, really, really hot. And uh, I'll be right back. All right, I'm worried about it being a little too crispy. So these are, this is one of those products where you just got to try it out on your toaster. Your toaster is going to vary. Um, you know, every toaster is a little different. So some are hotter than others. So this one, uh, for our toaster, I would probably drop it down instead of doing three, which is medium for me. I can't even imagine doing it medium high. Um, for me, I'll probably drop, I would have probably dropped it down to two to give it a little softer uh, crunch to it because this feels pretty hard and toasty on one side. Not bad though. So three did work. It just is a little uh, drier and very, very crunchy. I would prefer prefer just a little bit softer of a sandwich. So I will, uh, for future ones, I will probably do it on a two out of five instead of, um, instead of a three. I like the texture. The texture is very, very crunchy. I literally, with the bread being so crunchy, you don't, you don't get the texture of anything inside of there at all. Chewing bread, always a long task, right? Um, you can't chew it too fast you just choke to death if you try to swallow it too fast um again it's very crunchy but it's not dry it's not hard like so, so sometimes you microwave like burritos or sandwiches or something especially on the outside crust area it's really hard really tough and dried out this is not like that it's crunchy but not like hard dried out crunchy so it's it's a good crunchy um like i said if i drop it down a little bit less time wise on the toaster it would be perfect because right now, for me, it's a little too toasty.
the center part's better because it's a little softer. Um, so I like the texture of this. I like the crunch. You can adjust the toaster as crunchy or as less crunchy as you like. You know, the good thing about that is it's got a knob you can turn. Um, so I like the texture of this. I really, when I ate the center part of it, I really did get the texture of the egg and the bread. So um, you do get that nice uh, soft egg texture. Um, the, the far as flavor goes, probably a good 60 to 70 percent of it is bread. Maybe even closer to 80 percent is bread, depending on which bite you take. If you get just one of the edge crusty pieces, all you get is bread. It just it's all toast. Um, if you get the center part that has a lot more of the filling in it, you do get a little bit more of that egg uh, sausage flavor. It's not the strongest sausage in the flavor in the world. Let me try just a. It, first of all, it doesn't have that much. And you can see this is the well populated side. The other side doesn't have as much as this does. Um, so it doesn't have tons of sausage on it anyway. But um, what's there is okay. It's not a spicy sausage at all. It's not even a well seasoned sausage, honestly. It's got a it's got a sausage flavor, so it tastes different than like ground beef, um, you know, like cooked ground beef. But it does it doesn't have a really strong spices sausage flavor. And when I say strong spices, I don't mean necessarily hot and spicy. I just mean seasonings in general. So it does taste like sausage, but it's not super seasoned sausage. Um, but it's okay. The eggs have a decent flavor to them. They taste like eggs, and the, like I said, the bread tastes like toast. So there's nothing there. It's not a really what I would call buttery flavor of toast, but it is just a good dry toast. And um, although it did have moisture on it, like it looked like something was spread on there. I don't know what it was, but it could have been butter. But um, yeah, overall flavors are pretty decent. I really, really wish the sausage had been stronger. And if there's any, it, has, it says it has cheese on there. I don't taste cheese. I, I see the little spots of like yellow that melty that could have been cheese, but you really don't taste it. You don't get the texture of the cheese. I would have forgot there was cheese on here if I didn't look at the box. Um, but overall, not not too bad. It's um, it's definitely worth trying out. I mean, definitely, it's not bad if you try it out because I do think it's got a good flavor to it. But the sausage really, really needs to be bumped up in flavor. And the um, the cheese, they could have put a slice of cheese on there. It would have been much better than whatever tiny little shredded up cheese they put on there because it's not, you just don't get it at all. You might as well not have it. Um, I'm going to give it, I really do like the toastiness of it. I like the way you make it. I do like the textures and everything. So I'm going to give it a three and a half out of five. It's a little bit better than average. But um, beyond that, I wouldn't go any higher than that because it needs a lot more to be any higher than that. So uh, worth trying out for sure. So I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.